Welcome back to Living Local. A local church is using a popular game to give back to our community. First Presbyterian Church of East Moline is hosting an event called Bunko Blast. Today we're getting more information about that from Karen Paytash with First Presbyterian Church of East Moline. Karen, thanks so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. So Karen, for those who are not familiar, what is Bunko? Bunko is a dice game mm -hmm. and it's a game of chance. It's luck. It's, there's no mental stress involved in the game. It's just rolling the dice and counting your points. Wonderful. So, and you mentioned it. it's a very social game too. Oh yes, that's why everybody likes it because they can talk while they're rolling the dice. They don't have to think so much about no, no, a strategy. No. Oh no, no, <laughs> no trivia questions are asked during Bunko. Perfect. Why did you guys choose Bunko as the theme of this fundraiser? Because everybody can play no mm -hmm. matter what their age or um, whether male, female, mm -hmm. whatever, they all can play. That's why we chose it. Wonderful. So I am going to actually be taught how to play Bunko because <laughs> I don't know how to play. <laughs> That's right. So That's and right. I, it was funny because I actually thought it was a card game for some reason. So I have literally never played this. So uh, Karen, how do you play? Okay, so you take three dice. Okay. All right, and if you're in round one, you're shaking for once. So what you're gonna do is now you would wait your I'll turn. I'll wait my turn. All right. <laughs> you wait yes, your Karen. Turn. <laughs> and and we're at tables of four. Okay. So your person that sits across from you at the table is your partner. And your goal is to hit twenty one with your partner. Okay? So right. um, here we go. And of course I didn't get any one. So <laughs> I lose my turn and it goes to you. Gotcha. And then I try. Oh, now. Whoa, See, we're, we're on three we're, threes. Yeah, we're on ones, uh -huh. but you got three threes, so that's a mini bunko. Oh. So you get five points for that. Well, look, I'm really good at bunko. <laughs> yeah. I must be beginner's <laughs> luck. That's right. You've got it. That's wonderful. So anyway, the round goes around and around, and when the head table hits 21, they'll g ring the bell, okay, and everything will stop. Your turn will finish until you hit the, you know, your final count and then we move on. And that's why it's so social because if you and I start out as partners, once the round is over, we are no longer partners. You keep your own score so everybody gets a score sheet and you are a, a win or a loss and then you move on. Wow. So you meet many, many people and that's why it's so much fun because we're going to have over 150 people playing Bunko all at the same time. That's great. Sounds like a wonderful way to learn a new game, to meet new people, and most importantly, give back. So this is a fundraiser. Correct. Who is benefiting from the event? Okay. The tickets are $25, and half of the ticket price goes to four charities, and they are Christian Care, which is a, a local business, um, charity mm -hmm. that supports men and homeless men and takes care of them and they also feed families also. And Watertown Food Pantry, which is in the East Moline area and helps with food to the unfortunate. And Spring Forward Learning Center, which helps children read that are having difficulties. And then Breaking Traffic, which we wanna stop the um, the transportation of children or females mm -hmm. in other areas away from their families. Mm -hmm. Karen, how did you guys go about picking the different charities that are benefiting? Well, we have a committee of six, and those six people, we toss around who we want to support and who will help promote the, the activity, and then we choose the, six, the four for the year. There were four others last year and the year before. Well, this seems like a great opportunity to give back to very worthy causes oh, yes. here locally. Uh, when and where is the event? Give us the details. September 15th. Mm -hmm. It's a Sunday afternoon. The doors open at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And th that is, we have Bunko School for those that... Great, <laughs> I would need to go to Bunko School. You would go to Bunko School. <laughs> And those that want to come in, we have raffle baskets, mm -hmm. and there are over, over right now, over 50, and we will keep increasing the number of raffle baskets. They're silent auction items, so they can circulate around, take a look at everything, pick out their table that they want to play at, because right now we're at 30 tables, it could go up to 40. 
So they want to pick their position of where they're going to play and where they're going to meet everybody. So Great. Now, how can people get involved? Do they need to register by a certain deadline or how does that work? Well, we're almost two thirds tickets sold. So it's really cutting down to the wire. Mm -hmm. So we want them to either call the number on the screen or send in $25 addressed to Bunko Blast to the church. Wonderful. Now, in addition to Bunko Blast, what other missionary or outreach work does your church do? Well, um, we have some of our members are from Togo and we do help with clean water and schools in Togo. Uh, we also support other Presbyterian ministries, but our children make scarves for the less fortunate. We do birthday party gift bags for Watertown Food Pantry. So like if you can't have a birthday party for your child, there is a gift bag that you can take home and have a birthday party for your child. We have uh, a free library out in front of the church. So it has books, you know, bring one, take one. It's a free library. We do many, many things. Oh, for Bethany uh, Children's and Family Home, we uh, collected diapers mm -hmm. and had a contest in the church and divided the congregation up from January to June. They made a tower and the July to December birthday parties, birthdays, made a tower and then we had a contest to see who could build the biggest tower of diapers to donate to Bethany. Wow, Karen, your church family certainly we stays do. busy giving back. Right. And this is a great opportunity for other people right. to join in right. on that mission work. Well, we appreciate your time and thanks so much for teaching me how to play bongo. <laughs> appreciate You're a it. a quick learner. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you'd like some more information, you can reach out to the First Presbyterian Church of East Moline. Their number is 309-775-9848. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local returns after the break.